Are we allowed to have concubines? What does the Bible say? The entire concept of having concubines feels like a throwback to a much older and different societal structure, doesn't it? But let's dive in. In the Old Testament, there are indeed several instances where having concubines was not only an acknowledged practice, but something that several prominent figures engaged in without apparent divine condemnation. Abraham, Jacob, King David, and Solomon are a few who come to mind. However, it's important to note that the cultural and historical context vastly differs from today. These relationships weren't what we'd consider equal partnerships by any means, and pretty much reflected the values and norms of those ancient times. Women had very different societal roles, and these unions were typically bound up with property rights, alliances, and lineage. Now, the New Testament reframes a lot of these old paradigms, focusing more on the ideals of monogamous marriage and fidelity. Passages like 1 Timothy 3, 2, 12, and Titus 1, 6 suggest that leaders in the early church should have one wife, which is seen by many as an endorsement of monogamy. Taking all of this into account, and considering the legal and moral frameworks we operate under today, particularly out here in Portland, Oregon, the idea of having concubines is really not compatible with contemporary understandings of equality, consent, and mutual respect in relationships. We're living in a society where individuals, regardless of gender, expect and are entitled to autonomy and agency, something the concubine system doesn't exactly scream. So, while ancient texts like the Bible do document the practice of having concubines, our current legal and ethical standards make this a non-starter. We've moved on to a different way of understanding relationships, one that hopefully values individuals and their rights more uniformly. And frankly, despite the shifting thoughts on monogamy and polyamory in modern times, any form of relationship that hinges on the lesser status of one party is, well, thankfully outdated. The whole concubine deal? It's a part of history that we've studied, learned from, and moved past. And that's probably for the best.